Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. So today I'm going to switch it up and start with my eyebrows first. I typically don't do my eyebrows until the end, but today I thought I'm going to start with them. The product I'm using here is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Brow Wiz. I kind of took a little bit of a break from this product and it still seems to be one of my favorites for my eyebrows. It's in the shade Soft Brown. To prep my eyelids, lately I've been using the Maybelline Age Rewind Eye Eraser in the shade Light. And I find this works really well as a um, primer for your eyelids. I do prefer to use the MAC Paint Pot, but I'm still out of it, so I'm going to be using this all over my eyes and just blending it in with my fingers. This was a requested look from one of my subscribers. Her name is Kashima, who wanted to see me do this nude slash mauve look. I try my best to do the looks that you guys want to see me do, so please keep the suggestions coming. For my eyelids, I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette. I've been really enjoying using this palette. The colors in here are absolutely amazing and the pigments are so good, I can't put this palette down. Using the shade here, Tempera, I'm going to be applying it to my brow bone. Using a fluffy brush, I'm going to apply the shade Warm Taupe to my crease. I chose this shade because it's more in like the nude family and it'll blend really really well with the shade that I'm going to be using on my eyelids later. Here I'm applying the shade Buon Fresco, which is like a nude slash mauve shade, all over my eyelids using a flat brush. It's nice to sometimes step out of your comfort zone as I tend to move more towards like the gold slash like pearly shimmery shades. Using a combination of the two shades Love Letter and Cypress Umber, I'm applying this to the outer corners of my eyes using a fluffy brush. This is just going to give my eyes more of a smokier look and kind of give it some dimension. For this look I'm not using a lot of eyeliner but I'm going to be using the shade Creep from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I'm applying this using a really small flat brush really close to my lash line so it kind of mimics like you're using eyeliner and I'm just creating a little slight wing on the outer corner of my eye. To define the wing just a little bit more I'm going to be using a little bit of eyeliner. Here I'm using the Lancome Plume Eyeliner in a, the black shade and this has quickly become one of my favorites. I really like this eyeliner because it has a super thin tip and it's really good if you want to have like this precise kind of wing on the outer corners of your eye. I'm going to apply these Huda Beauty Lashes off camera. The name of them are Farah number no. 12. Now that I'm done my eyes, I'm going to move on to my face. I'm going to start by prepping my face using my favorite primer, which is the Benefit Professional Primer. For foundation, I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NC30 and I'm applying this using a brush all over my face. Lately I've been cycling through my MAC foundation, YSL and the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I like them all for different reasons, but of course use what works for you. Speaking of what works, this is my go-to highlight and contour routine. To contour, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick in the shade Coconut and to highlight, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser in the shade Light. I'm going to be contouring the usual spots on my face, which are the hollows of my cheeks, my nose, as well as my forehead. And here I'm highlighting the key areas, which are my forehead, my nose, and under my eyes. And just to define my contour a little more, I applied a little bit of highlighter under my contour, and then I also applied a little bit on my chin and Cupid's bow. I'm blending my contour out using a flat brush, and here I'm just going to speed it up a little bit because it takes a little bit of time. Here I'm blending out my highlight using a damp beauty blender. The key here is to make sure that your beauty blender is damp because if it's not damp it's not going to do the trick and it's going to make your makeup look very cakey. 
And here I'm using the Real Beauty Blender and I've actually tried some of the dupes that you can find online and they definitely don't work as well as this Beauty Blender. One really important step is making sure that you set your makeup. So here I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the Banana Shade and I'm going to be using that under my eyes and anywhere else that I've highlighted using a fluffy brush. Then using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and this brown shade here, I'm going to be using an angled brush and applying this color to the hollows of my cheeks and anywhere else that I've contoured. Then to give my eyes a little bit more of a pop, I'm using the Coal Liner by Maybelline. This is in the shade Barely Beige and I'm just applying this to both of my eyes on my waterline. To smoke out my bottom lash line, I use the shade Cypress Umber from the Anastasia Renaissance Palette. And I just used an angled brush and just applied the shade underneath my lash line. These falsies are pretty intense, so I'm just going to be applying Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Fan Effect Mascara to my bottom lash line. To highlight, I'm using one of my favorites, Mary Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetics. To amplify the effect of the highlighter, I'm going to use a little trick that I learned from Amber Scholl. I'm applying the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray to the brush. This is very similar to using a spray such as like the MAC Fix Plus and as you can see here it really makes the highlighter pop. And I highlighted in the usual spots my cheekbones, my nose and my cupid's bow. So for blush I'm switching it up today and I'm going to be using a NARS blush and it's called Orgasm. And I just applied a little bit to the apples of my cheeks. Since this is a Kylie inspired look I'm going to overline my lips. Here I'm using a MAC lip liner in the shade Soar. Just to keep with the whole Kylie theme, I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner Birthday Lip Kit and I'm not sure what the shade's called but it's in like the nude mo family. It's actually my first time using it and I actually really like it. I don't just do this for the likes, I do this for all of you. Thank you so much for your love and support. Your comments mean the world to me. So don't be shy and come say hello because I read and respond to every comment. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye!